Have you ever wondered exactly how the coronavirus invades your body? It begins with an invisible invasion, a microscopic entity capable of toppling giants. Imagine a tiny particle with the power to redefine human health globally. Let's dive into the fascinating process of how a coronavirus particle makes its entry. The coronavirus starts its journey by finding a gateway into your cells. Imagine the virus as a sneaky intruder, using its spike proteins like keys designed to fit perfectly into locks on our cell walls. These locks are known as ACE2 receptors. They're found mostly on cells in our lungs, heart, and intestines. When the virus's spike protein connects with these receptors, it's as if the virus has successfully found its specific entry point to invade. Once attached, the virus has a way in, but how does it get inside the cell? With the pathway clear, the coronavirus needs to breach the cell membrane. The virus approaches the host cell like a thief in the night, its spike protein a key designed to unlock entry. It binds to the cell's receptor and begins the merger of its own fatty envelope with the cell's outer layer. This seamless fusion allows the coronavirus to slip its RNA, the blueprint of destruction, right into the unsuspecting host cell. The cell, tricked into accepting this Trojan horse, assists in pulling the viral RNA inside. Now inside, the real trouble begins as the virus hijacks the cell's machinery. Imagine a pirate taking over a ship. That's what the coronavirus does to your cells. Once inside, the virus acts like a cunning intruder, unloading its RNA into the cell's nucleus. This RNA then commandeers the cell's machinery, usually reserved for its own genetic material, and begins to replicate. The cell unwittingly becomes a virus factory, churning out countless copies. Each new particle is a clone of the original invader, ready to infect more cells. As these new viruses assemble and burst out, they start the cycle all over again in new cells. So how exactly does the coronavirus wreak havoc in our bodies? It begins by attaching to ACE2 receptors, then fuses with the cell membrane to invade. Inside, it hijacks cellular machinery to replicate, spreading to new cells relentlessly. Understanding this process is crucial in developing strategies to combat the virus effectively.